you know, since my 1,000 sub special, you know, I'm surprised it's not receiving that many views. Uh, I figured that, you know what? I'm going to, you know, perform a bonus video for you guys. You know, I, I just found this one YouTuber. You know, I, I figured, hey, you know what? You know, I got nothing better to do. I got, you know, some spare time in my hands. You know, I know you guys love some anti-feminist wank material. So, you know what? Here it is. Some more anti-feminist wank material. Just to satisfy you. Be happy. I'm a feminist. I'm a feminist. Why the fuck do you have to repeat yourself twice, my dear? For the longest time, I didn't know what feminism meant. I thought it was women hating men. In fact, this is not what feminism is. And I learned that after a long time of being ignorant about it and embarrassing myself over the entire thing. I here, you already embarrass yourself enough by making this YouTube video. And me making this video towards you only makes it... You're just going on this downhill spiral. Trust me. Your dislike bar is going to be off the charts. I'm proud to call myself a feminist. I believe that men and women should be equal. I believe that people of no gender should be equal to people of gender. I believe that gay people are equal to straight people, and I believe that straight people are equal to gay people. Could You know, you could just say that you believe in equality, you don't have to bring up all of these fucking examples! You know, just spare us the pain! I believe that blacks are equal to whites. I basically believe in the fundamental human rights that we all have. Some of us were given by birth and some of us have been fighting for for years. I'm a woman, so what no one tells me as a woman is that I will automatically be afraid to walk streets at night. It's a very dangerous time of day, my dear. I mean, it's easier to get robbed during the night than it is during the day. You know, anyone, this, this could happen to anyone, men, women, transgender folks, anyone. And no one will tell me that I'll have to learn to hold my keys between my fingers and a clenched fist just in case someone tries anything with me. Because fuck self-defense, right? No one tells me that I will be seen as the weaker sex and that everyone will just assume that I am fragile. You are the weaker sex. Females are physically weaker than men. It's not because of patriarchy, it's because it's how you're made. So, my apologies, your highness. Which is not true. I fight for equal rights and I fight for justice. Do you also fight against diabetes? fight for women and i am proud to say that i do fight for women and then i also do fight for men but i want them equal I'm a hard worker i always have been i've always worked for my money that i've needed for my parents or that i needed for my grandparents because it doesn't feel right to me to take money away and the idea that someone that i could be in a career that i love but get paid the lesser value of the ratio just because i have a vagina really does upset me. If you were truly being paid less than your average male counterpart, then one must ask the question, why not hire more men? I mean, why not hire more women? I mean, if these people could get away with it, then they should hire more women. But my guess is, you're just pulling this shit out of your ass. I have faced molestation in my life. Why do I find that hard to believe? Which a lot of women have faced. I have been told in my science class that I should be able to know how to fold an apron because I'm a woman. And the fact of the matter is that the person who said this to me was a, was a young boy. You're talking about a child! The child has yet to know about, you know, everything on this planet. You know? I mean, how young is this child? Seven? Ten? 
I mean, you're, you weren't being Pacific, but I assume it's somewhere around there. He's still learning about the world, and, 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 and you take issue with this. That this bothers you. Like, holy shit, you're stupid. And these are the things we're teaching our kids, is to see women as the weaker sex instead of seeing them as the equal sex. Once again, these are children we're talking about. By the time they reach their teenage years, they will understand the concept of equality! But these are children! You fucking moron! It's not 1929, people. Women are not just seen as secretaries. Fuck, I are you doing this? As like they are and how to succeed in business without really trying. Women deserve equal pay. We just all deserve equality. Even though you're already equal, you're a cisgender white woman living under a fucking roof and you have a job and you're still complaining about how you are not getting paid as much as your male counterparts. Even though you provide no proof that you've been being paid less. All you know is that these feminists told you that you've been, you're being paid less and that's it! You just listen believe in that shit! You know, you didn't even put into thought about it! Just how easy can you be convinced by these feminists? I mean, if the feminists told you that the sky is purple, would you automatically believe them? And just because I'm a feminist does not mean that I don't love makeup, and that means I don't love fashion. It doesn't make me anything less than a feminist to love putting makeup on. It doesn't make anyone more of a feminist to not put makeup on. Now, on occasion, I do not shave my armpits and I do not shave my legs. I see it as no big deal. Why people see it as a big deal because I'm a woman, I have no idea. It's something so confusing to me, just like a man wants to shave his legs or shave his armpits that it's a big deal. It's our bodies, it's my body, why do you have a say in it? HOW DARE YOU HAVE AN OPINION AND HAVING SOME SORT OF STANDING WITH WOMEN? Yeah. Why do you have a say if I want an abortion or not? If I'm raped at my age of 16, and I become pregnant, and I don't want to have this baby, I should have the right to get an abortion. I don't ever want to hear my biology teacher from last year say again that her daughter deserved to be sexually assaulted because of the clothing she wore. Now what no one told me is that another girl could rape a girl. Sometimes, sometimes the things that these people don't tell you are just common logic. Like if men can rape women, then women can rape men. If women can rape women, men can rape men. Anyone is capable of rape. Doesn't matter of what gender they are. This is why I need feminism. Men are raped every day. Yes, men are raped too. And feminism, true feminism, defends men and women who are raped. So finished, but we need to find proof for that. I see slut walks, uh, slut, slut walks, but those slut walks aren't for men, they're for women. Women who've been raped in their time. We need proof that you actually care about men's rights. Otherwise, you can just shut the hell up. Who are violated, who are humiliated, who are domestically abused like I was. I found comfort in feminism. Feminism is not blind to anybody's needs. Again, we need proof. But you're not gonna provide any. Cause, you know, you're, you're a feminist. Proof to you is poison. Just like Harvey Milk wasn't, just like Martin Luther King wasn't, just like Eleanor Roosevelt wasn't. Those people were feminists. These people were fighting for equal rights, but they did not call themselves feminists. Okay? If I told you, if, if I told a feminist that I was raped by a gender fluid panda, then these feminists would laugh. They wouldn't even give a shit. But a second, a woman, you know, a white straight woman on the internet gets even criticized on the internet and holy fucking shit! This proves that sexism exists. Alan Turing wasn't. Feminism is not blind to anyone. 2016 is a year that should be remembered as the year that women are finally equal to men. Even though you are pretty much privileged in, all, in pretty much every way, you're more privileged than the average man. 
But no, no, no. You know, you're the type of person that could be sitting on a pile of gold. And, you know, every man out there is being, is currently being raped by a gender fluid panda with a bamboo stick. You will still say that you're still being oppressed. That's the type of person you are. And gay people are finally equal to straight people. Well, it's true that the gays are being oppressed. They're still being openly discriminated. However, it's getting better, especially here in America. Considering that uh, gay marriage has been legalized last year. Blacks are finally equal to whites. Around 1960, the Jim Crow laws were lifted. And you're telling me that blacks are still being oppressed. Oof, they're still being oppressed. Why? Because the whole uh, Black Lives Matter bullshit? Yeah, that police brutality must be stopped. I don't, we shouldn't have guns. The thing is, if no action is put towards an opinion, who cares? No one gives a fuck about what we think until we riot, until we march, until we protest, until we make a sign. And put out violent acts. And if you can't perform violent acts, you can at least um, silence your critics by doxing them. I've seen how the Black Lives Matter movement worked. And it's not pretty. You're no different. 